If you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, please drop a like in the video, subscribe to the channel with your bell notifications turned on. Now let's get into the video. Yo, so guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a player review for the new Inform, the new left wing Real Sociedad Orizamo. I've I've tried to say his name like four or five times and it just ain't happening. So, 86 overall, currently going for 20,000 coins. Now obviously... Red picks are out tomorrow, packs and rewards are out for tomorrow, so his price is pretty much just going to come down even further. So, I don't know how he's 22,000 coins. The market is just all over the place at the moment. Like, cards are just all over the place in price. It's just, price, some prices just don't make sense. And this is probably one of them. He's an 86 overall card for 22,000 coins. And he's an inform as well, obviously, you know. It, it, that's quite cheap for an 86 overall card. But how is he in game? Well, let's find out. So, if we're just looking at his stats 83 pace, uh, 85 shooting, broken down to 87 finishing, 83 long shots, 86 positioning, and 86 pens. His passing is quite decent, not gonna lie. 89 vision, 86 crossing, 85 short pass. His dribbling. Now, his dribbling stats, I think, kind of lie, because I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that later on in the video. But 87 dribbling, 86 ball control, 82 reactions, 81 agility. Defending, we're already going to talk about physicality as 84 stamina, which is pretty much the only main thing. Maybe 58 strength, but eh, you kind of, you know, see how it is. But how is this card in game? So I'm kind of going to try and talk about him in two different ways. So I'm going to talk about him as not really a left winger, but more of a left sided cam. And also then the actual center attacking mid. It's the actual uh, central attacking midfielder. So there's two different, obviously those are the ways I recommend you play it. I don't think wingers are actually as good this game anymore. Just, I don't know what it is. It's just, I often find they're better off as uh, left sided uh, attacking midfielders and right side attacking midfielders versus just left wing and right wing. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I don't really like playing them as wingers. I'm more of a... I don't know, it's just maybe they can come back and defend more. I, I, I really don't know. I don't know why I prefer them as cams, but I don't know. It just feels like they play a lot better as cams versus just wingers. It seems like they get a lot more involved in the play more. And that's one thing I will say about this card. When he's actually at your cam, he is so just involved with the play. It's just incredible. The more feeds the ball, he needs the ball. Like... Every time he's around the pitch, he's around the ball all the time, is what I'm trying to say. He always wants the ball, he always wants to contribute, he always wants to play the ball forward. Again, that might just be me, and I'm just saying because it's a computer-programmed uh, AI. But again, it's just the way he plays around the around the field, the way he runs around the field. He always seems like he wants the ball, he always seems like he wants to get involved. And there's not really there's like there's not really much more I can say about that in terms of how he plays in that sense. It's just he always wants the ball. He always wants to advance with the ball. So I'm going to explain how he is as a cam at the moment. As a cam, I think he is very very good. His dribbling, his passing as a cam, is just absolutely incredible. I think you guys are seeing in some of the clips, right? His tight dribbling is one of the best I've used in this game. Whether, you know how you just dribble the ball with the left stick and you don't use any sprint, you don't use R1, you just dribble with your left stick and that's it? I think he is one of the best I've used in this game for that. It's just he's so mobile, he's so low center of gravity that he he's so... He has 81 agility. It feels like he has 99 agility and I'm not even lying. It's just his left stick dribble is absolutely amazing. He just weaves past players like they're not even there. There are a few slight nitpicks, I would say, with this card. I do wish he had four-star skills. It's just when you have that low center of gravity, you have that really tight dribbling. Yes, ball rolls, roulettes, yes, you know, step overs are great, but you just want to whip out that Berber spin. You want to whip out just... You want to whip out that four-star skill move, and it's just, it's so unfortunate that he doesn't have four-star skills. That is one of my main nitpicks with this card. It's just, he would be so incredible if he had four-star skills. He would probably be one of my favorite cards in the game, not even lying. It's just, a cam with four-star skills, especially with a low center of gravity and amazing dribbling, can bring you so much fun in this game. And this card, at 20k, uh, playing him a cam, like, how I review these cards is, I sub them on, from the bench just so i have my main team and then i can just slot them in whatever i feel like they can play and him on him as a cam he's a lot of fun to use and he is really really good as well on top of that his finesse shot his finesse shot is absolutely incredible 
he just curls it right around the keeper. Obviously, that's what a finesse shot does. But the ball just whips around the keeper. Like, it's just... He's, he's so good. He's so, so good. Guys, I think this comment on Footbin sums up uh, this card really well. He'll be so cheap because he has 3-star, three 3-star, three but he'll be good, don't worry. That's literally how I feel about this card. If he had 4-star skill moves, right, I pretty much think this card would be 80 to 90k. I generally think that. It's just with 3-star skills and that low center of gravity dribbling, I still think he is absolutely incredible. In terms of value for money, I it's... <laughs> It's insane how good this guy is for 22,000 coins. Like, obviously, and tomorrow as well, red picks are coming out. So if you get him as a red pick, obviously it's not ideal, but you, you are getting an incredible player if you do get him from a red pick. Obviously, you want that Timo Werner, you want that Rashford, you want that Memphis Depay, but, you know, he's not... He's not a terrible card, obviously, let's say that. He's an absolutely phenomenal card for 20,000 coins. Obviously going to get cheaper tomorrow. Guys, please go get him. In terms of the actual chem style I would use, it's pretty much Hunter. Increase that pace, increase that shooting, gives him 99, 97 finishing, 87 shot power, 92 pace. Like, this card is, feel, already feels quick, but obviously that extra pace will just make him that just much more better. And guys, please go get this card. Go try him out. You will not regret it. For 22,000 coins, literally could not recommend a card more highly if you just guys what, just want to have some fun. If you're, if you're playing him in foot champs, good luck. But <laughs> if you're looking for someone just in squad battles or division rivals, he's absolutely phenomenal for that. I mean, if you do use him in foot champs, let me know. I'm curious how he actually plays in uh, foot champs. I'm not going to use him, obviously. But in terms of squad battles and division rivals, absolutely phenomenal card. So guys, that's it for the review. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around you. See you guys later. Take care. Love you all and peace.